Hi, this is Ben from The Arcade Couple, and we have a brand new video for you today, and this is also a brand new video series for you. This is called Top 5, and what we're going to try to do in this Top 5 video series is give you a Top 5 and some sort of relation to an arcade uh, that will allow you to better go in and understand what are the Top 5 things you should be playing for, uh, for tickets, games you should play, for fun, that sort of thing. So we're going to have a lot of these different videos coming out, and we hope that you will enjoy them. So for this video, our our first top five is going to be top five games to play for tickets at Dave and Buster's. So if you're going to Dave and Buster's and you want to win a lot of tickets, these are going to be the top five games that you need to get good at and play a lot so you can win a lot of tickets. So without further ado, let's start at number five. Okay, so game number five that you should play at Dave and Buster's for tickets. And again, this is just my opinion, but it comes with a lot of experience, obviously, of playing uh, different arcade games at Dave and Buster's and winning a lot of tickets. But my number five game is Crossy Road. Crossy Road is a relatively simple game. The whole idea, as you've seen in some of our videos, is to just get that, that chicken or the duck or whatever over to the other side without getting hit by uh, cars or trains or that sort of thing. Uh, it does take some practice. You do have to uh, take some time, go to the arcade, practice a few times, but eventually you'll get good at it. Actually, if you watch some of our earlier videos, I was not very good at this game at all. Uh, I really struggled with it. But a big tip for me is that if you download the app, Crossy Road app, onto your phone, and then you take some time and practice on your phone, I found that that really helped me when we went to the arcade to play. Now, the phone, uh, the app on the phone is a little bit different than what you're gonna play in the arcade at Dave & Buster's, but it still helps you get the basic concept and the idea of the game, and I think is really gonna help when it comes to your, your preparing and training to get better at the game. So keep practicing it, keep playing it. Uh, the reason why it comes at number five is because the jackpot uh, is relatively easy to get, especially if you go in first thing at Dave & Buster's when the amount to beat is a little bit lower, but the jackpot's not very high. Usually it's around 250 tickets. If you see it for more than 250 tickets, uh, it's a pretty good deal. But yeah, so the jackpot is not very high, but it's definitely worth playing and a great way to start out a trip to Dave & Buster's by beating Crossy Road, beating the jackpot, and getting some pretty good tickets. All right, coming in at number four on the list of games to play at Dave & Buster's for tickets, I have Two Minute Drill. I love this game. Two Minute Drill uh, is one of, actually in my opinion, is one of the easier games at Dave & Buster's to play. Uh, this is one of those games where the concept of the game is to take one of the footballs, throw it into one of the three different holes uh, that equates to different level of points, and if you beat a certain score, you win the jackpot, a certain amount of tickets. Now again, this comes in at number four because just like Crossy Road, um, the jackpot is usually not very high. Normally it's going to be at about 250 tickets, uh, and sometimes it can drop even lower than that. But right at 250 tickets, uh, and this is one of those progressive jackpots that once you beat it, you can actually play again and beat it again, but the score goes up as you beat it. So that's something you have to be conscious of. Uh, we do have a video on the channel that talks about this game uh, that kind of helps you, tells you how to win it and, and how to keep keep track of the score and that sort of thing. Um, so you can be on the lookout for that. But this is one of those games where uh, if, you, if you just practice, if you're good at the skill games, the throwing games, this one is definitely pretty easy to beat. The biggest mistake I see people play or do when they play this game is they try to throw the ball like a regular football and you know they bring the arm all the way back, they throw it forward and honestly that's just not a good technique for this game. Uh, throw the ball like you would if you were playing down the clown. You just kind of pitch the ball, just kind of toss it through the holes. Always go for that middle one uh, for 30, especially when the score to beat is pretty low. But this is another one of those games where you can rack up an easy uh, 2,000 tickets probably uh, right away. Uh, at this game. So two minute drill, definitely number four to play for tickets at Dave and Buster's. All right, and coming in at number three, I have 
Zombie Snatchers. Zombie Snatchers is a fun game. Uh, there are a lot of other versions uh, sort of out there that are similar to Zombie Snatchers. Uh, you have Tower of Tickets, which is very similar. The whole purpose of Zombie Snatchers, the idea of the game, is that there are pucks on a rotating uh, sort of platform, and you have this, this little arm that's going to swing, and you have to use that arm to knock one of the pucks into the chute. And the pucks are each worth a certain value. Now, when Zombie Snatcher first came out, it was the go-to game. It would have been way higher up on this list if Dave & Buster's have, hadn't nerfed it uh, because uh, there was a, an elevator system. Uh, pucks would just come back onto the onto the platform. It, it was a lot different, basically. A lot of changes have been made to the game to make it um, not quite as easy to beat or not necessarily worth it uh, to beat. Uh, as much as it was when it first came out. But anyway, Zombie Snatcher, uh, if there are pucks on the platform that are 500, even 250, you can easily rack up a lot of tickets uh, by playing this game. And they also have the big jackpot, which has to do with the letters. So now there are these little letter pucks, and usually they're worth 500 tickets themselves if you knock them in. But if you light up all the letters, then this is a game that you can win, usually around 1,000 to 1,500 for that mega jackpot, which it used to be higher, but hey, 1,000 tickets is still pretty good. So one of my tips for this game is that if you see that the letter uh, to light up is at Z or something like that, uh, my recommendation is to just wait, be patient, let someone else come along, let other people play, knock a few letters in, and then wait till uh, it gets down to, you know, Z-O-M-B-I, maybe that slid up, and then uh, you're going to knock in that E or, or something like that. So just be patient, wait. But this is a game that also requires a lot of practice because it takes a while to get the timing down. But once you get the timing of when that arm is going to swing and hit one of those pucks, you can win pucks very, very easily, very uh, often, and uh, you should be able to rack up a lot of tickets. So I'm putting Zombie Snatcher in at number three of best games to play for tickets at Dave & Buster's. All right, before we get to number two and number one, I just want to remind you to like this video, comment, and subscribe if you have not subscribed already. We have so many videos on our channel, from coin pusher videos to uh, arcade videos, to uh, claw machine videos, all sorts of stuff on our channel that hopefully you would love to check out. Uh, and again, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We're continuing to grow, and we want to continue to put out great videos just like this for you. So, on to number two, the second best game to play at Dave & Buster's for tickets, in my opinion, is, this might surprise you, Down the Clown. I love Down the Clown. It is one of my favorite all-time games. Probably is, actually it is, it's, it's my number one favorite game, uh, arcade game ever. It was the first game that I ever played when I went to Dave & Buster's. It was the first game that I learned to get really, really good at. So Down the Clown has a, a very special place in my heart. But Down the Clown is definitely number one, uh, or excuse me, number two, number one in my heart, but number two on this list of top five games to play for tickets at Dave & Buster's. Uh, this is a game that it takes a lot of practice. It takes a lot of skill. So if you're good at the, the skill games and the throwing things, then this is right up your alley. I know a lot of people struggle with it, but the whole concept of this game is to just take uh, the balls that come down and you're throwing them and you're knocking down the clowns and uh, you hit them. And if you get a certain uh, score, then you'll get the jackpot, which is 500 tickets. Tickets, usually should be 500 tickets it used to be more uh, but they did drop it down but th that's it. it it's a simple game this is another one of those progressive jackpots so if you beat it once uh, you have to get a higher score the next time to beat it but you should be able to beat it you know a, a skilled player should be able to beat down the clown four to five times in a row on one machine and the good thing about Dave and Buster's is that typically there are two machines at Dave & Buster's, which means that you can easily rack up um, you know, 4,000 tickets, 5,000 tickets, uh, just from playing down the clown and being able to win the jackpots. It does get tiring. It does take a lot of skill. It does take a lot of practice. I'm not gonna go into detail about the best way to uh, beat it. I will put in the description below though, and maybe put a little tag up in the corner here, because I do have a video. It's actually the most popular video on our channel of how to beat down the clown uh, and get a lot of tickets at Dave & Buster's. So that is definitely going to be uh, the second best game to play for tickets at Dave & Buster's. All right, so that brings us to number one. And I know what you're thinking. You probably thought that, man, Ben, number one on your list, 
should have been down the clown. That's your favorite game. You always play it. It's your go-to game for tickets. You're right. But there is a game that can give you more tickets if you can uh, get really good at it. It's a skill game. Give you more tickets than down the clown. So number one, the best game to play at Dave & Buster's for tickets. If you want to win that prize for your kid, if you want to bring home a PlayStation 4, whatever it is, the best game to play at Dave & Buster's for tickets is Tailgate Toss. This game, I believe now, is at uh, almost every single location. Uh, Tailgate Toss, uh, you will find it at other arcades uh, rebranded uh, as um, I think just beanbag toss it's an ice game but they kind of made a special one for Dave and Buster's where it's called tailgate toss it looks like a truck you'll see it in in the video and some clips of us playing it but tailgate toss is one of those skill games throwing games it's just like cornhole that's basically what the game is the holes kind of rotate but the purpose is that you uh, you try to accumulate as many points as you can in order to uh, beat a high score which would then give you a jackpot and let you win tickets. Now, uh, there is some different you know, variations of if you get three of one color in a row, you get a, a streak and that's a bonus. So you get bonus points that way. So there are a lot of things to consider when you play this game. This is one of those games that involves a lot of physical skill as far as being able to throw the, the bag into the hole accurately, as well as while they rotate. Uh, it involves a lot of timing. It involves uh, a quick pace but also involves a lot of a mental skill to be able to do this. But this game, you can win a ton of tickets if you can get good at it. You, It's a progressive jackpot, so the score gets higher as you beat it, but you should be able to beat this five, six, seven, eight, nine times in a row and rack up a ton of tickets. So get good at tailgate toss, take a lot of time to practice, but it's definitely number one, best game to play for tickets at Dave & Buster's. Well, guys, that is going to do it. Those are my top five games to play for tickets at Dave & Buster's. So if you want to rag up a lot of tickets, you're going for a major prize, then these are the games that you need to get good at. So that's Crossy Road, Two Minute Drill, Zombie Snatcher, Down the Clown, and Tailgate Toss. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with this list, if you like it, if you don't like it, if you have other games that you would want to add to this list. There are a lot of other games that you can play to win big tickets, uh, and I know that there are, but some of them I'm just not good at so they didn't make my list but these are my top five uh, to play for tickets at Dave and Buster's thanks so much for watching guys we hope you enjoyed this edition of top five